The world is boxes, all the way down. The Global Postal Service, or GPS for short, is doing pretty awfully lately. Lost packages, late deliveries, and actually letting rain, sleet, and snow get in the way of their delivery duties. That is, until they created one of the greatest postal inventions of all time. The self-delivering parcel. In Prospect Games Unbox, you embark on a delightful 3D platforming adventure as one of these sentient cardboard cubes as they undergo various challenges to prove to GPS that you and all of your cardboard box friends are ready for work. In a strange and unsurprising twist of events, you learn that there's a faction of rebel boxes known as the Wild Cards, and they aim to fight against GPS to earn freedom for all boxes. The problem with these Wild Cards is that well, they're kind of jerks. And that's where the game begins. After a brief tutorial, you're set out into the realms of the world to complete all kinds of challenges in an effort to gather stamps. After a certain amount of stamps gathered in a world, you get to fight the boss of the wild cards, and if you win, you get to move on to the next world. Unbox is, in the truest sense, a modern use of old school 3D platformer collectathon gameplay. There are secrets and collectibles scattered around every level, unlocks based on challenge completions, and of course, you can jump more than once in midair. As I've said before somewhere on this channel, when I was younger, I didn't really get too into this kind of game, which surprises some people considering Banjo-Kazooie and the like were pretty much everywhere back then. The point is, when it comes to this collectathon style of game, I don't really have much nostalgia for it. That said, Prospect Games, I'm talking directly to you. Your little adventure has shown me what I missed out on, and now I have a bunch of old adventure games added to my list of must plays. So, thanks for that. Unbox is a whole lot of adventure neatly packaged in about four or five levels, each with a pretty decent number of challenges to complete, about 200 bits of gold packing tape to find and collect, and a number of trapped boxes to rescue. Each world has its own theme, ranging from a tropical beach to frigid mountaintops. There's a great amount of freedom that the player is given with their movement. Being able to jump in the air six times for a total of seven jumps allows for some pretty daring jumps and has more than once ended with me learning that, no, I can't make that jump. Also, you can drive cars. Why? Because! And the challenges are actually pretty creative. While some feel pretty samey with you either collecting or finding things in a certain amount of time, they're all set up in unique circumstances. It's clear that the devs know how to use the environments they've made to create unique challenges, and it keeps things pretty fresh the whole way through. Unfortunately, nothing's really perfect. The physics in Unbox are a bit wonky at times, leading to things like barriers getting stuck under your car during your race, or just general weirdness, and some of the platforming bits are thrown off by the fact that you're a box and you need momentum to make some of the jumps and you don't really have a lot of room for that, leading to a lot of attempts on a single jump. When everything works though, the game is extremely enjoyable. I'd also say that the game pops up helpful tips a bit too often, always reminding the player that they only need a few more stamps to fight the boss, or telling the player when they're by a secret of some sort. I wish that there were an option to turn off these tips as I really don't need them or want them, but maybe they exist to help this game be a bit more kid-friendly? Which, by the way, I'm sure kids would freaking love this game. There's also local multiplayer, but I haven't gotten to check that out yet. Expect a video of it soon enough, though. Unbox is a great game that shows how to properly bring an old-school genre into the modern age. And despite its flaws, it's one of the most charming and delightful things I've had the pleasure of playing in quite a while. You can pick it up on Steam for about 15 bucks. Whether or not you played games like this in your youth, just if you want a smile on your face and if you want to have a good time, then this is one for you. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Indie Bites. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more stuff like this. Be sure to check out the other content that we put out on this channel and remember to drop me a line here on Twitter or through email with any game recommendations that you've got. You can find all that stuff down in the description below. I'll see you next time. Bye!